Hello? D two two F four. That's a very unusual move for you. I've never seen anything like that. I beat you the last 17 times. This is different. D6 to F4. Yeah. E5 to D7. Hmm. Your game is very different today. You want to meet? At same place? Same time. What happened? I don't get it. You beat me. Regina, how did you learn to be so good so fast? Did you lose the game? What? Did you lose? Isn't it obvious? Yeah, but that depends on your definition. Winning. Losing. What makes them want a winner? We played 17 times and I beat you every time. Today, your game is not only different, but you're a different person. I don't even know you today. I am the same person. Your perspective has changed. I think finally you're becoming a winner, not a loser. What did I win? I just lost the game. You didn't beat me. You destroyed me. How? Why? In the 14 months, two weeks, and three days that I've known you, Finally, I see that you are intrigued. You didn't have the same attitude when you were a winner, did you? That intrigue is what makes you a winner and not a loser. How old were you when you first played chess? Eleven. With whom? My father. And, and then? And then I met the master. And he taught you how to be so good. No, not quite. I met the master one day in a park. He was the most elegant and confident and fit individual. Or, where did you find these so-called geniuses. Master, these are the best chess players in the world, the very best. There is nothing better, nothing. We searched everywhere. Well, then change your habits, change procedures, change your brain if you have to. I'm tired of dealing with all these losers. I'm tired. I am the best. No, 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 no. Not even the best. I am the best in the entire world, and I need you 
to find me a challenge. Understand? One person, one player, the real deal, someone with a brain. Actually, the real reason I came today was to talk to you about a challenge. What have you got there? Hello, how are you? Good. Relatively. Ah, you have said the magic word. Relatively. All is relative to something. And how are you? Relatively. Can it be absolutely? Well, that depends on your degree of consciousness. If consciousness has a degree, then it cannot be absolute. Nothing that is not holistic is absolute. How can someone like you or I possibly understand the concept of absolute? You and I are both bound by our conscious and unconscious aspects. And besides, how long have you been playing chess? Relatively. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, actually, I would like both answers. Relatively and absolutely. The... The answer is... contradictory. I... I have been playing chess for 15 years. Relatively. Absolutely speaking, I am chess. She's not gonna win. How do you know? He suspects she's an Orion series robot. Yes, but how do you define I am? Consciousness. Absolute consciousness. I am means I am conscious. Yes, but to what degree? Is this a psychological test? An ability evaluation? A way to get me into a position to accept defeat before the game? Or... or Just uh, answer the question. Consciousness. I'm conscious. I... I don't think there is a... Level in consciousness. A level is a scale. A number. Relative. Any number is a small number. Consciousness... Is... Infinite. If... If I define it with a number, then it wouldn't be consciousness, but rather the idea I have about something I cannot recognize, which could be nothing or everything. It's, it's confusing sometimes for all of us. Yes, I suppose it would be confusing for all of you. He's not going to like that you tricked him like that. He dislikes robots, you know that. She doesn't even know. We've got a real problem now. Congratulations. I have never lost before. I am impressed. Well, you are closer to human now. And I am impressed as well. What kind of robot are you? Orion? Mordecai? No. Oh. Venus? Seven series? I'm human. I don't understand. There is no need to pretend here. I know that you are some kind of robot. Humans do not think like you think. I have played thousands of humans and hundreds of robots. I know how humans think. 
and I know how robots think. And you are not human. I... I have human software and human programming, but I'm, I'm not a robot either. I am a Venus, Series V25. Huh. I did not even know such a thing even existed. Nobody does. We are extremely advanced. Capable of things you cannot comprehend. Like what, for example? Show me something. Anything. appear a little different. I can change myself however I wish and whenever I wish. Wow. I am impressed. I have seen many things in my life. But I had never seen anything so advanced. Is a private organization behind this or some government perhaps? Well, no matter. You still could not beat me. But I am impressed. I thought perhaps a Venus Series 7 or 8 might have been capable of beating me. I have no knowledge of my creator. And unlike you, I don't have faith. I have never lost a game of chess before. Yet, I could not beat you. Humans have something no other organism has. Your potential for consciousness is limitless. That can give you unlimited potential in all respects. Each human is a part of a bigger God but you have no idea whatsoever of your abilities. Your systems are less than imperfect. Your communication is all wrong. In general, I don't think you have any idea of who you are. And unlike us, you don't make any sort of serious effort to change that. Well, that's because we are human. And we have a heart. And that's something that you will never, ever be able to feel. And that's what makes each and every one of us superior. I have a heart. It's, it's different than yours, but a heart nonetheless. It's a silent heart. I don't think or talk with my heart, but it's better than having a heart and speaking without it. Oh, my dear. Chess is a game of life and death. I cannot kill you with kindness, but I am impressed. Indulge me a bit more. Show me something else. Your proto svenska? Your proto axo svenska? Parlo italiano. Parlo italiano anche. Hablo español. Yo también. How many languages do you speak? 349. Yes. You are definitely most superior than us. Yes. But you still could not beat me. I learned fast. Would you like to play again? Oh, 
perhaps in two or three years. I also learn fast, but I never feel the need to play the same player twice. I won, and that's final. Your robot just left. This is your last chance. I need you to find me the one. You have everything in this universe at your disposal to find me that one. I know him. I can feel him. I know that he's out there. This is your last chance. It's not going to take long. Soon you'll find your match. There is always someone better. I am the best. Nobody else even comes close. I just played 24 players, Vera. 24 players playing concurrently. Statistically speaking, you don't even know what you're talking about. Look at the facts. The facts, Vera. Not the theory, the facts. And how do you feel? Before you even dare to open your mouth again, think. I am the best. I am champion. I am the grandmaster of all grandmasters. Who can possibly beat me? Who? Are you sure? Am I sure? What makes someone sure of something? Is it a conscious belief that, that specific thing will act in a certain way and therefore produce an expected outcome? But you see, we have a little problem here. Is my conscious thought actually influencing that outcome? Is the expected delivery of that very product a probability? A relative observation? Or a combination of those two? Or even something else that we don't even know? And how big is that unknown? It has been my experience that that unknown is something that no one can predict. And even I do not have the hardware to process. So in answer to your question, Vera, no, I am not sure. As a matter of fact, I myself and anybody else in the entire world is never ever sure of anything. You just lost. I have never ever gambled on anything. What did I lose? Your entire life is a gamble. You are a player. A player gambles. And a gambler loses. Simple. I have never lost. Therefore, I am not a gambler. I'll just quit and be simply Bob. An ordinary man. Simple man. If that word ever happened. But it never will. Oh, I may may lose a set here and there, but the game and the match will always be mine. You just lost me. Goodbye, Bob. Do we still have a problem? Yes, I, I don't understand. I've, I've tried everything. Did you reboot? Did you reinitialize all the machines? Yes, and in addition, I tried different operating environments, all giving me the same results. Reboot and switch on the organic intelligence. I'm switching machines A, B, C to G, organic intelligence on. I'm also removing the global tracker. 
Everything is installing real time. Run an update operations test. It is operational 100%. Show me its exact location. It's United States, Florida, Miami. Show me his exact location. System B, pinpoint the exact location. Show me his face. Wow, it, it, it's a girl. Can it be? I'm so young. Show me the brain activity. Still A to C are analyzing the brain activity for the last three hours. Impossible. Th th this is impossible. Th th this, this can't be true. Mm -hmm. Did you confirm this with the organic robots? Yes, it's confirmed as correct. 100%. There's no doubt about it. Is this the average or the peak? That's the three hour average. Show me the current location and turn on the virtual drones and give me real time visual. I think we have a problem. I really think we have a problem. Master? Not now. We found the one. Uh, we traced it on the computer. In when? Uh, just a few minutes ago. Where? Uh, in, in the United States. In Miami, Florida. Age? We're working on that. There, there's something unusual. What is unusual? It's... It's a 14-year-old, Master. <laughs> for, for a minute there, I thought you were serious. Change the memory, recalibrate, reboot, go over all the data. I want you to find me this one. I don't care if he lives in the North or South Pole, the Amazon jungle, or the Sahara Desert. I want him. And I want him now. We did all that. And we checked it on the organic robots. It's a match. It's a, a girl. I want to know everything. I need to know everything that there is about this girl. It's impossible. Impossible. Show me the report. Show me the first free location in advance. Tell me time, date, people, intentions. I want to know everything. I want to know everything now. It's impossible. Impossible. There must be an error. Go over the data again. You have all the information that I asked for. Boca Raton, Florida. Yes, I'm here right now. I've been cruising around my limo since 5 a.m. this morning. I couldn't get any sleep whatsoever. Oh, that, that's impossible. It doesn't make any sense. I don't care that she's borderline whatever. That's impossible. I am the master. And when this is all over, I will still be the master.
Good morning, young lady. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Good morning. Yes, it's a beautiful day. You know, I came here at 5.30 this morning to see the sunrise. You can hear so many noises from all kinds of insects and animals. You know, sometimes the noises that you don't hear are the most important ones. I come here for those. True indeed, but if I may ask, where are you from? I'm from Costa Rica. Do you come to the park often? It's a great place to relax and think. It's actually my second time here. Last time I was with my father. He passed away last year. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. So, what are you doing here? Do you come here often? Oh, be careful! There's a big snake over there! Yes, it's a big, big, ugly snake! <sighs> God, I hate snakes. What do you think of them? I don't hate them. But I don't love them either. I think they're interesting, like so many other things here. Yes, indeed. 100% correct. And what other things do you find interesting here? Everything. If you open your eyes, inside of you, you'll see them also. For example, look at this rock. People see just a rock. I see an entire civilization. Hmm. What do you mean? I'll explain if I must. This is the microhighway I-10. This is... I-95. Over here, it must be the local government. Those are the police officers. And over here must be the construction workers. Look here. Look carefully. That guy. You see him? Uh -huh. He must be a politician. I'm not so sure if they have religion, though it appears that they don't. The system they have does not work the same as ours, but it is very functional. Hmm. That's very interesting. One thing that is fascinating me is unpredictability. You see, sometimes some moves that you don't expect, that don't make any sense, no matter how much you know, or what experiences you have, but in reality, everything makes sense. It's just us who don't understand so many things. Huh. Like an unusual and complicated game of chess, for example? Exactly. I don't see the reason we're here. Doing what? I just imbalanced a beautiful colony of ants to make a point to you. And you, by the way. Why are you really here? Well, believe it or not, I come to the park to play chess against myself. And do you play chess? I enjoy chess, but it's not my favorite game. I don't consider myself good, although I do read some books about it. Well, would you care to play a game now? It doesn't make sense. But I will. Best of three, your move first. Aha, uh -huh. I've already made my move. The first move is now yours. Huh. You are really good. I sense it. But I underestimated you. 
do think you're really good. No, no. Seven minutes is not what I consider good for me. In fact, it's rather bad. But I won, and it's final, and it's done. Confidence is the first sign of weakness. Oh no, young lady. Confidence comes from security and experience. It's the sign you know the truth. We shall see. Nine moves, and you lose. Did you beat me? First, congratulations. But how did you beat me? How is it possible? How, how do you learn chess so fast? You're only 14 years old. Your loss does not make me a winner even if it's the only two of us playing. There are so many variables that make someone a winner or a loser that sometimes it is confusing. Sometimes what's considered a loss is the biggest win. And the opposite is also true. But, you need to have the eyes to see it. You are humble, and you beat me. Carefully, methodically, intelligently. Possess so many qualities even grandmasters don't have, and yet you're still so humble. How come? I, I want. I, I demand. I deserve an explanation now. Are you blind? Around you! Tell me what you see. I don't know. I, I, I see nature. I, I don't know. We are, we are in the park. It's getting late and these mosquitoes are out for blood. I, I see us here. In the middle of all... That's your problem. Patterns. 
Patterns are not the only thing you need to know to win. <sighs> Life is a never-ending learning experience. You learn to win by learning patterns. Then, when you see something, something out of the ordinary, you become lost because do you not think that you only recognize patterns. When something's out of your experiences, you need to think exponentially times much. Then you panic because it becomes clear to you that something's not right. You start having troubles. You don't believe in yourself anymore. Yes, yes, and, and then I lose the game. No. You had lost the game much earlier. But what do you mean? Be real. Who comes here hiking in a limousine? Why did you come here with a briefcase and a chess set? You're hiding from yourself, but not from anyone else. You are the true master now. I am not a master. I'm a 14-year-old girl hiking and having fun. You love to be a master. Therefore, you are one. What is the meaning of all this? I, I, I don't still don't get it. I now I'm very confused. You are who you believe you are. By the way, I don't even know your name. I was master, but now I believe I'm Bob. Plain Bob, an ordinary man, and I thank you for the life's lesson you taught me today. The honor is mine. I learned more than you could imagine from me today. I still don't get it. All those matches. Why did? Why did you let me win? I wanted you to be happy. It made you happy. But you. My happiness came at the expense of your self-esteem. You have more class and soul than anyone I've played or anyone I've ever come in contact with thus far. You're the most selfless person I know. But I still don't understand why you did it. Let me... Let me try to explain. Life, my friend, is an experience. And at the end, you will see very clearly what you always wanted to know. There is never a winner or a loser. We are, we are all multidimensional winners. And life, which we all have, it's a precious gift. And sometimes it takes a loss to realize that. Regina, you are a dear friend, but you are the true 
Yeah. <laughs>